What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Today we're going to be talking about Cinnabare and just the all-encompassing benefactor of the community and everything going on with it. Everybody's making Cinnabare videos, so I figured, why not step out of train? I already made one. It's like an hour long. It's a troll video. Don't really care about Cinnabare. Don't really care about these actions. You could see these kind of coming from a mile away. But anyways, Cinnabare or the Cinnabare drama really revolves around allegations of misconduct, including accusations of grooming and inappropriate interactions with minors. There are screenshots of this. It is no longer an allegation. It did actually happen. I would consider her almost like a groomer maybe not the definition of a groomer but it's still it's still very hazy lines having these really sexually explicit talks with kids under age is insane cinnabear a well-known youtuber and animator faced severe backlash after being called out by a former roommate and members of her own online community for her behavior some of these accusations include grooming younger fans and engaging in manipulative relationships you know once you have a big subscriber base and you know from younger fans or your audience it really brings a bigger question but as the situation ended up escalating cinnabear's reputation within the animation community took a significant hit uh, in her response, they ended up issuing an apology, but many found it unsatisfactory and criticized it for deflecting accountability and not fully addressing the harm it really did cause at the end of the day. She even goes along and states something along the lines of, I, I understand people thought I was a groomer. I thought I was a groomer because so-and-so said I was a groomer, but nobody really questioned why. I said these things under duress and also, nobody really cares, bro. You did what you did. Those screenshots are not under duress. Where I stated I groomed a minor and I saw quite a few people point out that it's very strange. The main reason I saw was, people don't usually confess to things like this. They try to fight back against these things. But none of you questioned if what I was saying actually made sense. I was coaxed and guilted into a false confession by someone I loved and took care of. Someone I worked my ass off to provide a moderately comfortable lifestyle. Like, come on. The situation ended up highlighting a broader concern within the online community, really just showing the power dynamics between content creators and their fans, especially younger audiences. We really need to hold that accountable. A uh, Cinnabare getting cancelled is really due to multiple serious accusations on the front. Uh, not only that, including grooming, manipulation, and inappropriate interactions with minors. We really gotta start looking into these kinds of things. These allegations were brought forward by the roommate, after all. Like, your roommate, a close acquaintance, is insane to me. I, the claims Cinnabare used their platform to engage in manipulative behavior and cultivate inappropriate relationships with younger fans. I truly believe that's what happened. Uh, in addition, a lot of people have pointed out the Cinnabare's response to these uh, these insane accusations, including the apology video, uh, just seemed to deflect blame and she fails to take any kind of full responsibility for her own actions. Uh, this is leading to further backlash and, and to her decline in, in her reputation in the commentary CC, the art CC, if you will. Uh, situation really does reflect a broader concern about the responsibility that content creators have toward their audience, especially when their audience includes younger and more impressionable minors or viewers. Excuse me. Well, let me know what you guys think about this whole Cinnabare situation. Groomer or not, I think this really needs to be a conversation we need to have with uh, creators such as Cinnabare and other people alike like that, especially when they have younger audiences and they make content not really geared towards younger audiences, but younger audiences will end up watching it. Right, it's kind of the same situation we have with uh, just the content side of things, with Jersey Shore being on MTV and younger audiences wanting to watch the new edgy thing, uh, which is MTV. But uh, yeah, that's a whole other conversation. But this is like she's actually, you know, engaging in these sexually explicit conversations, and then the excuse they said in their apology video was, "Oh, well, I do this with all my friends." Okay, yeah, you can do it with all your friends. That's fine if they're of age and they're accepting of it. But this is a person of un underage. It doesn't matter if they're fine with it. That's still wrong. In every aspect it's just a whole hour of deflection and, and not taking any criticism and blame like, i really think you should be ran off the platform in my opinion cinnabear should not have a platform cinnabear should be kicked off the platform and i don't think cinnabear should have a right to have an audience especially when it's my um, majority kids in all retrospect a lot of these situations and a lot of these people stuck online they really do suffer from this like not like a mental illness type thing because i honestly think their behavior could be corrected but it's it's just just go outside socialize the, the lack of actual person to person contact the face-to-face -face value when you miss that you actually lose a lot in real life and you almost lose that ability to actually talk in public it really does seem like just reading some of these chats if you guys haven't i'll put a, a link to the google doc but beware there is some nsfw stuff in the in the in in inside that folder but it's it's quite quite something uh, it's it's insane you 
the mental faculties are just absolutely crumbling with people like this. And I don't understand why it's so prevalent in the art community of all things. Maybe it's just like some social awareness situations going on. Maybe they all are on like some kind of spectrum. I'm not quite sure. But like, guys, go to a gym, go play a sport, go pick up an outdoor activity, go hiking, do something, figure out how to paraglide or maybe get your pilot's license or maybe take up boxing or, you know, start playing basketball and just do something outside of this. Or maybe go paint the side of a fucking building. I don't know. Get a job. I don't understand. Like, the, there's the social aspect on, on Discord and Twitter is just not it. Even though I use Discord and Twitter a lot, I also do a lot outside of my real life. I'm... I play a lot of sports, I go to the gym, and I got a lot of other curricular activities that I like to do outside my job and day-to-day -day life. I'm a busy being, you know? It's so it's just so weird, like, I don't know, there's a bigger, there's a bigger conversation to have personally with Cinna when they start explaining things like, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, no, you didn't, like, wh what kind of person actually types that out for themselves, you know? As a grown adult, you're 20, 21, almost, I don't know. Guys, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. See you all in the next one. Subscribe if you're brand new and I'm out of here. I'd also like to keep in mind that even though they already told their age, this is where the grooming thing comes from. They still talked way after that, which is insane to me. Insane. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. See you all in the next one. Subscribe if you're brand new and I'm out of here.